Okay, Brisk, I see you. You are as dedicated to Brisk as I am, and you are trucking along here. You've probably joined us for most of these Brisk Bites, but if this is your first one, we're launching from the Brisk Tools page, which you can find at bit.ly slash try Brisk Tools. In the last bite, we explored the MTSS menu creator. This gave us sort of a, um, a grab bag or a choice board of strategies for students needing interventions. This time, we're gonna take a peek at the MTSS template. This helps us really hone in on a skill or strategy and turn it into a really nice plan for students. I think you're gonna love it. Let's go ahead and click try it. Brisk is going to go ahead and open up a document for us. We get our Brisk extension down here in the bottom right, which goes right to the Brisk library. And we're going to go ahead and choose MTSS template from the bottom portion of the library under interventions. Again, Brisk gives us some guiding text in the box asking us to describe where our student is struggling. This time I'm going to choose fourth grade. I've got a student in fourth grade and this student happens to be struggling with some vocabulary. It's starting to impact comprehension. We've got misuse, misunderstanding of words, over-reliance on simple repetitive language and poor performance on those vocabulary quizzes and assignments. We really want to get this kiddo building confidence and feeling better about vocabulary. I need some strategies. I maybe have already used that uh, MTSS intervention menu for lim limited vocabulary and grabbed some strategies that I'm putting into place. Now I'd like to go ahead and focus on one and build a plan. Fourth grade, tier two intervention brisket. You'll start to notice the difference between or the intervention template and the uh, menu right away. This looks more like a plan, right? I've got my tier two listed here. I've got some strategies listed out, but I've also got a place to start adding who's going to be involved with this. What's our start date, duration, frequency? What will the student's baseline be? This may be where you go in and enter some uh, baseline data. And where is the student going? What's the target? What is the end of year standard that we're aiming for? So you can go in there and add that in. I think these two tools in tandem, mwah, chef's kiss. Uh, we love these intervention strategies. So keep them coming brisk. We love it. We'll see you back here for another brisk bite very soon.